Connor Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing. Greg Rebeck with Tucker Aki Distributing. On this week's Wednesday with Greg, we want to talk to you a little bit about cleaning your motorcycle. Here are customer care representatives constantly get phone calls and people ask, what's the best product to clean my motorcycle with? And I've got to say, the answer is not the same for every motorcycle. No, it is not. I have a bunch of bikes in my garage. Each one of them I handle differently when I go to clean them. I have an old Triumph, 1950. I would never, ever spray water on it. Number one, the Lucas Electrics wouldn't handle it. <laughs> but but I, I don't want water getting into places that I spent years to define and make perfect. So what I do with that bike is I have a nice cloth that I carefully, if there's any dust on it, my wife had a custom cover made for it, so nice. it's, it's pretty well protected, but I wipe off the dust very carefully. I don't want to scratch the paint with the dust. And then if I'm going to take it to a show, I have this really cool spray wax. I spray it lightly and I wipe it dry. Cleaning the bike, it depends on the bike. If I'm going to uh, wash my KTM, again, if, if I've been out for a long time and it's really covered with a bunch of stuff, I very carefully spray some water on it, and then I start wiping it off. Or if I spray a little water on it, I have an Air Force blaster. I got the small handheld one, and I blow off the water out of everywhere because I do not want to have corrosion. So when it comes to cleaning your motorcycle, you've got the products like Greg talked about where you spray like a, a wash wax type spray on there and then use a microfiber cloth. That way the dirt kind of goes up into the cloth and doesn't stay on the surface and you can wipe that clean. If your bike is filthy and has lots of road debris and grime on it, it's really imperative to get that big stuff off before you wipe your bike. One of the products that I've used and have really enjoyed in the past is S100. Now, there are certain chemicals in that cleaning uh, assortment of, of products that you need to be careful not to get on certain surfaces. There's things that will eat rubber. There's things that will peel chrome. So you've got to be really careful on which products you use on which areas of your motorcycle. Good point. And he brought up the name S100, a really, really good cleaning product. But do not spray it on a hot pipe. Mm -hmm. It will stain it. You don't want to do that. It'll turn white. Whenever you're cleaning the bike, make sure the pipes are cold if you can. Um, I, I like using silicone products. You know, the silicone sprays, there's different companies that have them because they smell good. But they, but the, the, some of the black plastic and the black panels really pop after you spray that on there. Two other household products that I often use on the motorcycle is Lemon Pledge for all of the painted surfaces and Windex for anything that's chrome, mirror, or shiny. Good idea. Yeah, you know, and when you're wiping down glass like a mirror, a piece of paper works better than a cloth. Inversely, when you're wiping something plastic or painted, you gotta use a soft cloth. Don't use paper. When I've been on a long road trip and have tons and tons of bugs on my motorcycle, like sometimes the front of the gold wing, you can't even see what color it is. It's just caked with bugs. What I normally do before I attempt to wash it is I'll spray it down with some water and then I'll get a towel and soak a towel or a sheet or something like that in water. And then I'll lay that over the front of the motorcycle. And what that does, that allows all of those bugs to get soft, pliable, and then they just wipe right off. Yeah, you know, it's really important to get those bugs off too because those bug bodies have like little acid in it. And it will permanently destroy your paint or chrome if you're not careful. Again, some of those bug bodies are hard. So you want to soften them before you wipe them off. And some cleaners, S100 cleaner will help you do that too. If you don't have that or you prefer a wet towel, that works great. But just make sure that they get soft and you wipe them off. One more thing I'd like to touch on real quick is spokes or R spokes. Spokes can be a nightmare to clean. Um, a couple products that I like to use for cleaning my spokes is the uh, the strip from Luster Lace. The strip is it comes about this long and they come in really skinny to wide bands. You basically wrap it around the spoke and then you just go like this down each of the spokes and it does a great job at cleaning, polishing, and protecting. Now see, I hate cleaning spokes, so I use S100 anti-corrosion spray on my wheels so I don't get corrosion to begin with because I don't like cleaning them. There you go. Just a, just a few helpful tips on which products to use and how to properly clean a motorcycle. Thank you for watching this week's Wednesday with Greg. And ride clean and safe.